Yeah, 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 yeah. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Listen, man, I'm proud of Sidney Jones. You know what I mean? I'm proud of Sidney Jones showing effort and showing initiative upon a new dominant cornerback coming. <clears throat> Sidney Jones showed the type of promise going down um, the stretch of the season that just passed that, you know, you like to see out of a young corner, especially with some struggles. Now, if you guys can remember, Sidney Jones was ultimately the guy that closed the game out for us against Dallas when Dak Prescott uh, targeted, I think it was Michael Gallup. Sidney Jones, stride for stride, one-on-one, -on -one, breaks it up, get a hand in there, you know, good technique. I think it's going to benefit so much from um, Darius Slay coming to the secondary. So Sidney Jones is... Um, Working out in the offseason with Ronnie Braxton, I believe his name is, uh, a cornerback guru. You know what I mean? Um, he worked out with guys like um, uh, Chris Harris Jr., um, Akeem Tlaib, um, A.J. Boye, um, to name a few. You know what I mean? Just studs. You know what I mean? He is a guy who is, you know, um, revered for getting some of these guys to the next level and just showing off their talents. You know what I mean? Getting these guys to play to a Pro Bowl level. Obviously, everybody I just named, with the exception of um, Sidney Jones, who will now be joining that bunch, you know, are guys that have Pro Bowl appearances. I think Sidney Jones is... Um, absolutely slotted for a breakout you know some people um have this notion that they would rather prefer a rasul douglas on the roster rather than sydney jones but i seen so i seen the spark out of sydney jones man sydney jones got a couple of picks in those last couple of games and this is what you need if nelson aguilar's work ethic was even remotely close to what sydney jones is right now you know what I mean? And, and, and no, I can't say work ethic. I'm just saying the, the, the want and the need to wanting to get better. If um, Nelson Aguilar would have displayed that, how Sidney Jones is displaying it right now, I think we would be having a different conversation about Nelson Aguilar right now. I mean, that's just how I feel. I think that we would be talking about Nelson Aguilar in a completely different light. You know what I mean? Now, all Nelson Aguilar had to do was try to get better upon d -Jack's arrival. Try to get better upon Alshon Jeffrey's arrival. Nelson Aguilar seemed to be one of those guys that was just stagnant. When's the last time we seen a cornerback or a wide receiver work out with other greats in a position and show his strength? You know what I mean? And, you, you know, that's what you need. The last person that I can think that did something like that from those two positions would be Darius Slay. And when he was he, he wasn't with us when he did it. I think it's some type of stigma that goes along, goes around in the NFL. You want to work out with other guys and you want to get great. Actually, um, Miles Sanders just did it um, from a different position, uh, from the running back position with Saquon Barkley. Dudes are working out with other greats trying to be great. And you can't knock Miles Sanders for that. Learning again from Saquon Barkley. Saquon, Saquon Barkley is a top five back in this game. You know what I'm saying? So stuff like that is why, you know, teams take the next level and players take the next level. You know what I mean? They look at the next level, they see where they want to be, and they go for it. Now, the Eagles medical staff have a really good, important job because, you know, Darius Slay and Sidney Jones have these nagging hamstring injuries. Hopefully, Darius Slay doesn't bring that with them. I think he put that behind him, but it's critical for Sidney Jones' development that that's also behind him as well. You know what I mean? And um, a lot of people are talking about Javon Hargrave. Hopefully, Javon Hargrave can learn from Fletcher, from, from Fletcher Cox. Maybe Fletcher Cox can learn something from him because that guy is good. And I'm looking forward to seeing how deadly this, um, this defense is going to be, man. This defense, man, you no, know, I don't want to throw no bold predictions out there right now. It's a little too early for that. If everybody stays healthy on this defense, this is a top 10 defense, man. Already has the makings to be a top 10 defense because... As far as the secondary is concerned, we now have no choice but to lean on other talent. Darby is out the door. You know what I'm saying? Darby is out the door. Malcolm Jenkins is out the door. What that tells me is that we have to lean on guys who we didn't give opportunities to earlier in the season. Like we're gonna see more, we're gonna see more Sidney Jones. We're gonna see more Avanti Maddox. They just gotta stay healthy. We need durable corners. Slay and um, Jalen Mills and Rodney McLeod. Those guys can really tackle for their positions, and I'm really looking forward to seeing this all just gel and mesh together. We need somebody of a veteran presence in the linebacking core, I believe, and I just think that just puts the icing on the cake for the Philadelphia Eagles or get some young guys who want to be able to, you know, go out there and show they belong on the team. Who's going to be the voice of the team moving forward now that Malcolm Jenkins is gone? It's up for grabs, you know what I'm saying? And the secondary, I got to say, it'll probably be um, Roddy McLeod, and Fletcher Cox will assume his normal uh, leadership role as he always has. But they have to elect a new captain now. Malcolm Jenkins was that guy. Who's going to step forward and say, I want to be the new captain? 
You know what I mean? Had Rasul Douglas put his best foot forward and shown that, you know, he wanted to get better instead of going back and forth with fans on Twitter about how the season went, I think Rasul Douglas will be a much more player. I'm just so proud of Sidney Jones for taking the initiative and trying to get better. You know what I mean? I wish all of our young players did something like this. Sidney Jones showed perseverance. He, Sidney, Sidney Jones embodies what it is to be a Philadelphia Eagle. He took the lumps, got back up, and, and, and you know, he's not afraid to say, I want to get better. Because that's a deadly one-two punch if Sidney Jones takes this, ser takes this season by the horns and go out there. Sidney Jones is potentially looking at a massive payday if he could play well. He's looking at a big, play he's looking at a big payday. If he could play well, he's looking at a big payday, period. Whether it's with the Philadelphia Eagles or anybody else, this is a prove it year for Sidney Jones. And I think Sidney Jones got a lot of proof. He got a chip on his shoulder. And I think he can go out there and go after it. I look forward to seeing Sidney Jones and Devontae Maddox learning from Darius Slay, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments.